The 3D mosaic is one of the most popular downloads on the Swabby website. As you can see here on screen, we have the mosaic tool. So first of all, how do we install this? To install this, all you have to do is you're going to have to double click on the DRFX file and then it will prompt you to install the effect. After you follow the simple installation process, this is how it works. First thing is we need to add a picture or whatever you want to use, which is going to be one of the scenes of the little screens right here. And you probably want to make these fit the whole screen like that. OK, after you have these, we're going to right click and we're going to create a new fusion clip. If you want, you can go and rename this fusion clip and rename this slideshow. After your clip is ready, you can find the mosaic effects tool in the effects section. So we we'll go to effects here and we're going to add the Suave mosaic tool. Right away, you're going to see that it looks a little bit weird. And that is because this bottom one is sliding in the default one. But if you don't want that to happen, all you have to do is get rid of these keyframes right here. These keyframes are just part of the pre-made scene that comes with this demo. Now, the next step is adding the different clips. To add the other clips is not that complicated. All we're going to do is we're going to right click again and we're going to open this in a new timeline. This next part is a cool thing that I learned while building these. I wanted to see if there was a way to have two viewers in the edit page because I thought I have seen that before. So I did a quick Google search and yes, there is a way to do this. OK, what we're going to do next is we're going to click right here in the timeline view options and we're going to see or select the stack timelines option. Now we're going to see the different timelines right here that we can click easily and go from one to the other one. But I want to see both of them at the same time here. So for that, we're going to close the inspector window. By default, it's going to look like this. So we're going to go and select the dual viewer mode. And this is going to be black because we have to select what are we going to see here. In order to see something here, we're going to go to the media pool and we're going to drag the vid timeline, which is the main timeline right here. After you have the timeline, you're going to be able to see everything that's on the timeline. So if the timeline is a it's big like this one, so if it has multiple stuff, you're going to have to find that section where the same slideshow is located. So basically these. So here is where you drag and drop the images and videos that you want to use. If the resolution is not correct, you're going to have to go to the inspector window and then make this bigger. Then after you close this, you're not going to see anything happening here yet. But if we add the timeline again, we're going to it basically is going to refresh and now you're going to be able to see both of those things. Now, you can make this as long as you want so and you can add more things. So the way that things are stacked is that on the video layer one is going to be at the bottom left. Then the layer two is going to be at the middle at the bottom and so on. If we add a third one, let's say we add these image right here. And again, we're going to have to go to inspector for a little bit and make this bigger to fit our screen. But now we after we refresh this, we're going to see this like that. And it's repeated here because of how I set this up. Now, that movement that you saw is actually just because of the pre-made animation. So let's get all the clips there and then we can check it out again. OK, after you added all the nine different elements here, we can actually go ahead and refresh this again. And now we can see all the different elements that we have here. Now, let me tell you, this effect is actually resource intensive because DaVinci has to process all the different clips at the same time at just a smaller size. So it does take a tool in the system. In Fusion, in my end, it was taking around 15 gigabytes of when it was caching. You might want to take that into account. And that's why there is a demo of these so that you can see if it works on your system. But there is a way around this. You can go to playback and then use the timeline proxy mode to have resolution. And that's going to make it work a little bit better when you're trying to render these and view everything that's happening right here. Now, ignore these little black bars here. That is because I just didn't make them big enough in here yet, but that is OK. If we go back to the timeline here, the main timeline where we have that first image here and we open the inspector, we go to the effects tab and here you can see a couple of things. So by default on this demo, you will have that pre-made animation that you have seen starting at the center. And then this goes zooms out to see all of them. And then you can use this like that. So if you want to add more keyframes, you have the option to do that here. You can also rotate the camera. But right now you will be limited by the black section again, unless you have a different background here that you want to add and make it blurry. So it looks a little bit better. That is just what I have here in this demo. You will have to add a few more things manually if you want to customize it more. 
for the actual pro version of the tool what i want to do is i want to add a lot more scenes that you can then just select from with like a drag and drop menu that way you don't have to spend so much time building these keyframes by keyframes and just figuring that out so that is basically the difference that will be from the free and the pro version right that the time that you will save by using it so to download this freebie all you have to do is go to this link in the description and then follow the process and make sure to confirm your email because after you confirm it then you will be shown the download page right there on your email so feel free to customize this demo and use it on any kind of projects that you want i will be developing these more if there's enough people interested in the pro version i just didn't want to go in and put a ton of hours in and then have it not be useful for people so let me know down in the comments if you will find this helpful or you can also email me through the contact page and yeah that is it for this video i will see you in the next one bye